Hey guys, welcome back once again to my channel. Um, it's actually, as you guys can see, it's the same day. Um, we was, you know, had the video earlier going on, but I decided to jump back on here because something just happened and I'm like, okay, why don't I just, um, you know, share this with my family, my, my team, my peoples. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm like prepping right now, but, um, if again if you guys are new to this channel please subscribe or whatever leave some comments below you know share what I like comment subscribe please so let's just jump right into this because we're not gonna be all day with this um so I guess I should say first if you're like a squeamish person, like you don't really like taking out things um, or like blood and open wounds and things like that, then you should probably not watch this video because I can't guarantee you that it's going to be clean. Um, okay, so pretty much... Um, I will be taking out my dermal today. Uh, I've gotten this done. This would have made the third time of getting it done. And the first two times, um, my body rejected it. Like it pushed it. My body was pushing it out basically. Because for, for anybody that gets like dermal piercings and things like that, your body naturally is going to, if your body is healthy, like it's supposed to be, um, and everything is functioning properly, naturally your body is going to try to reject and push out those foreign objects that um, aren't really supposed to be there. So that's what my body is doing now. But the first two times I had got my dermal pierced, um, the first time, actually both times, I don't feel like they didn't, they didn't put it in right. Like the first time it was at an angle. And then the second time you could like, I don't know if you guys can see it. Like you guys can actually see it, you know, and that's how it looked the first, the second time I got it done. Like you it was like they, they put it through the thinnest piece of layer, which is the first layer of your skin. So the third time I went, um, I told, you know, the guy at the time my story. And so I felt him digging deeper past the first layer, past, you know, he he was deep in in my chest with that. So I'm thinking, okay, this time around, you know, it'll stay. Um, my body will get used to it being there because I'm thinking it's just deep in there. My body will get used to it. It'll be fine. No. I started noticing that my body was possibly going to reject this. Um, I want to say I had got this redone. I don't even remember. It was a minute. Uh, I want to say <laughs> back in... 2019 2018 2019 is when I got it done like the third time um I could probably like go back and look at pictures and see but I want to say it was like 2018 2019 is when I got this one done and uh I just like I said started noticing my body rejecting it like maybe the beginning or maybe December of last year um and then like lately I it, it's definitely rejecting it because like it's you can see it like you're not supposed to be able to see that so a few minutes ago before I cut the camera on um it was kind of 
irritable, I guess. So, you know, during this quarantine, people bored. I thought I had plans today, but that didn't happen. So I'm just like on my phone, tired of looking on social medias and things like that. So when I get bored, I find stuff to do. And if it's not what I'm about to do right now, which is rare, <laughs> then it's planning my makeup or my hair. But because I'm limiting myself to messing with stuff like my hair and my face, face and stuff like that, like not saying that this was the last resort, but because this has been a slight issue lately um, and it, it has pushed out enough for me to take it out the rest of the way, I'd rather just do that than to be sleep and it gets taken out in that manner. Like, mm -mm. so like I said, this is the third time I done did this. Um, there will not be a fourth, fifth, sixth, or seventh. Like, I'm going to take this out right now. And we, we're going to heal it up. And that's going to be that. Like, we're not going to get this piercing done again. Um, which I'm kind of thankful that my body is rejecting it. Because there's, I'm not saying you know, everybody's, everybody's body rejects dermals. But... I'm one of those people that my body will reject it, which, like I said, is kind of a good thing because the only other way to get it out of you is to get it surgically removed. And who got money for all that? Like, seriously. So, we got to go ahead and do the process because I promise y'all this wasn't going to be long. And I told y'all in my last video that I just made earlier today how I'd be saying that and then it'd be long. So, basically... <laughs> I don't advise anybody to do this like like I said I've, I've experienced this two other times prior to, to, to now so and I took both of them out myself because uh, like I said the first one was was in at an angle so it kind of looks how this one looks how like the, my hands are clean by the way that's why they're ashy I washed them before I cut on the camera um but yeah, like this, I don't know if you guys can really see that, but that part that's sticking out right there, that metal part, that's actually like one end of the piercing. The other end of the piercing is still a little bit under my skin. If you guys can see that, it's still like underneath my skin a little bit. But uh, we're just gonna kind of pull that out because it's basically out like you know you always have like that tough part yeah like I'm literally lifting this whole end up right now as you guys can see so I would literally have to just kind of tug on it a little bit to loosen up the skin and not rip it but basically like I put some tension on it and take it off um so, like I said, my hands are sterilized. I washed them. I'll probably wash them again in a second um, just to be safe. I got my Nearsporn that I'll be putting on after I remove the piercing. Because the last two times, I, it left like a scar. It wasn't a major scar, but it was a scar. So, if I can avoid the scar being worse, then... That's what we're using that for. And then, too, it's just, you know, a way to clean the the open area. I got some Q-tips to clean up if it's, it's a little bloody or whatever. I got some alcohol. Um, I'm actually going to probably be using some tweezers to kind of help me, like, finesse the piercing out of there. But I have them soaking in some alcohol right now. I literally only use these um, cute, not cute tips. I only use these tweezers to really pluck my eyebrows. That's it. So I'm sterilizing those right now. And yeah, I think we're going to probably remove the shirt just in case we do get a little blood. Actually, we're just going to leave it just like that. So let me go ahead and wash my hands again. 
I hope y'all don't think I'm crazy. I'm doing this, but it's either this or me just continuing to let my body push it out until it's literally dangling. And I, that's to me, that's less safe than me just wanting to take it out myself. So I'm going to just take it out. Like I said, I've, I've experienced this two other times prior to this time. So, like, it's not a big deal for me. But I don't want people to think that it's not a big deal because it is. But because I've experienced this before and I've taken my other two out before, like, it's nothing to me. Um, So, this is the time where we're gonna actually do it. So again, if you guys don't care to watch things like this, unfortunately, your best bet is probably to just click off of this video right now and maybe go like other videos. Go watch my video from earlier that I just posted about maybe an hour or two ago. Um, But yeah, so we're gonna get started because this video is already going on 12 minutes and we're not gonna have time for all of that. So, I'm gonna take a Q-tip and I'm going to wet it with some alcohol and clean the area around the piercing. And I'm putting a little pressure on it to kind of just help. Oh, and there it goes. See? Wow. I didn't even have to finesse it like I thought. So like <laughs> Wow. That uh that was a lot smoother than I thought it was gonna be. And like, oh, I'm trying to show y'all the so this is the Pearson here. This is what was inside my skin. And yeah, this is the piercing. Yep, this one was inside my skin. As you can see, it's pretty short. But yeah, my body just rejects it. Like, I don't know. So all I did, y'all, was literally put a little pressure on it, like I said. And it just came right on out. So we're going to clean. Take the other end of the Q-tip and we're going to clean it. And I'm kind of like, it's like a bittersweet because I do love my dermal. Like, that's the only dermal that I have. And I absolutely love it. I mean, obviously I loved it if I got it three times. But I told myself um, when I got it this third time that if it didn't stay... And I it, it ended up coming out that I was just literally gonna leave it out and just screw it, you know. Um, I want to say I feel there's like a lump here, but I'm pretty sure it's just from the piercing. I don't. I'm trying to remember if I felt the lump before. I think I did, but I'm not sure 100%. So I'm just gonna kind of clean it a few more times and then I'll be putting the nearest bra on, on there and then um, probably letting it breathe for a bit before I put a band-aid on it. Cause I definitely wanted to get some air. The whole point of me putting the nearest bra on there though is to not have it scar up. Cause like I said, they, they pierced this exact same spot three times. So, of course, there's going to be scar tissue there, but which the guy told me, I want to say the second time I got it done. Oh, obviously, after the second time. But he was like, it's not bad where, you know, I would have to pierce somewhere else. Like, I could pierce through it still. So, that might be what the bumpiness is or whatever. But, yeah, so... 
this is how it looks after I've cleaned it. And now I'm just going to put some near spawn on there. I'm actually going to kind of like cake it on there, to be honest. Because I also don't want it to be like bleeding down my throat. I mean, <laughs> down my chest either. And so I'm just putting... And it doesn't hurt like... um when I was cleaning it with the peroxide before it fell out and I was getting underneath, I felt like a slight sting, but that was it. And then the rest of the way, when y'all saw how it just easily fell out, none of that was painful at all. Me cleaning it, me cleaning it isn't painful. Like it, it has like a little, I don't know. I wouldn't even say sting to it, but it, I don't know, but it don't hurt when I'm cleaning it, it don't hurt now that I'm doing this, like, and I know I have a high tolerance for pain. I mean, clearly. And then I got my top and bottom belly button pierced. Um, and if you guys want to know, like, what I have pierced or what I've had pierced, let me know in the comments below. And even how many times I've had certain things pierced. Let me know in the comments below and I could do a video about that for you guys. But yeah, okay, so we gonna just leave it like this for a little bit and then I'll just, you know, throughout the day clean it up or whatever. Now I just, just gotta heal basically but yeah that's how much i love y'all just wanted to come on here for a quick 20 minutes or so and just let y'all know what happened today which was absolutely nothing besides that and um yeah we took it out and y'all saw me take it out so i would just tell anybody who has a dermal and your body is literally rejecting it and you can see it rejecting it because you can see the you can see the back of the piercing like where you're not supposed to see that and you see that and it's literally dinging out your skin or any part of it is like out of your skin, then it's kind of safe to say that you can remove it yourself. Like you don't have to go to a doctor or have surgery to get it removed. Like you can just remove it yourself. Clearly that's just what I did. And I literally didn't even have to touch it to do it. I literally just put a little bit of pressure while I was cleaning it with peroxide, I mean with alcohol. And y'all saw it, it just fell out. Like, you guys, you guys saw that. So, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna let this air get into it and, you know, just let it breathe for a second. And then uh, later on sometime, I'll probably put a Band-Aid on it. And I'll just keep that process every day. Every day I'll get up and I'll clean it with alcohol. That way it doesn't, you know, get infected or nothing like that. It's good to have it breathe so it can heal properly i feel like so i'll clean it every day with peroxide um that'll probably fall into my daily routine morning routine or whatever i'll clean it um in the morning and at night and i'll put the near spawn on there in the morning and night and then i'll wear the band-aid it, it depends like if i'm gonna be out doing stuff then i'll put a band-aid on it um, but I'll definitely wear a band-aid at night so it, I don't get blood everywhere if it's still going to be bloody and stuff. But this is how it looks. And like I said, it didn't hurt because it was pretty much out anyways. So thank you guys for tuning in for that little that little video, the little 20 minute video or whatever. So please like, comment, subscribe. Please leave comments, guys, so I can know what videos y'all want to see me do. I have tons of stories. I have tons of things that I would want to show you guys. But I need to know what you guys actually like for me to post. So I can keep you guys intrigued and I can keep you guys interested in my channel. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you all later. Peace.